President Donald Trump has gone back and forth about his feelings regarding the release of the Mueller report. First, he said he didn't mind the release. Recently he's resumed his previous attacks on Mueller's team and the report itself. So what gives? Watching Trump flip-flop on issues is something we have all come to expect, but after his crowing about no collusion, complete exoneration, and other Trump-like nonsense, what has made him change his mind? According to Rolling Stone and ABC News, he has been briefed on information in the report that points strongly to his guilt on obstruction. When William Barr issued his ridiculous summary of Mueller's report, Trump wore out the terms no collusion and no obstruction. He even complimented Mueller's findings, calling them the result of great intelligence. Mueller's actual report found no such thing. In fact, he was clear that the information does not exonerate the president. Trump, of course, chose to ignore that one very powerful sentence, which may now come back to haunt him. Both Jonathan Carl of ABC News and Ryan Board of Rolling Stone believe that Trump's renewed attacks stem from his team's failure to consider one issue, Don McGahn's 30-plus hours spent with Mueller's team. To date, no one knows the content of those meetings and any information he provided may well be contained in the report. Considering McGahn's testimony and the recent leaks from Mueller's team published in the New York Times, the White House is and should be worried. According to Carl, Trump's firing of Comey, his anger at an eventual firing of Sessions for recusing himself, and Trump's purported attempts to fire Mueller all point toward his guilt on obstruction. Unless information shared by McGahn relates to ongoing criminal investigations and or possible indictments, that information may be revealed and could look very bad for Trump. In addition to McGahn, NBC News reports that several other White House officials, both current and former, have contacted the Justice Department to inquire about redacting their names or removing information that identifies them, leaving the door open for even more negative information about Trump. While this all sounds damning for Trump, Carl reports that attorneys for President Trump are preparing a rebuttal to the report, making it plausible that they have, at the very least, been briefed about the report. Carl finds it disgusting that Barr refused to answer questions regarding a White House briefing when it appears clear that they have done so. As so many, including Speaker Pelosi, have alleged, Carl states that Barr is working with the WH against the American people. Barr will continue to work against us. It is blatantly obvious that he will try to protect Trump from any real harm, regardless of the special counsel's findings. The presence of William Barr makes it even more important that the people do what we have to do to rid this country of the scourge called Trump. We can obviously display our discontent by vote, and if we need to take to the streets, let's get to taking. We need to stand together to ensure that our government returns to government of the people, by the people, for the people, and not for corrupt criminals like Donald Trump.